Sawa, young legionaries. Julius Caesar. Have you heard that name before? Well, whether you have or not, it's the name of one of the most important people ever. The summer month of July is named after Julius Caesar. Yeah, that's right. An entire month is named after this guy. So he's got to be important. So who was Julius Caesar? Well, he was a Roman during the time of the Republic who had such an effect he helped change it from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. Now, about his life. How did it begin? He was born into a noble family, but they had fallen from grace and were hardly respected by the other powerful families. This made Caesar a very ambitious man, who felt he had something to prove his entire life. Caesar started life pretty normally until there was a great upheaval in Rome between two powerful groups, and one of those wanted to harm Caesar, causing him to flee the city. It was only when Rome returned to a more normal state that he could once again live in Rome. When he returned to Rome, he entered Roman politics and became a senator and began to become very powerful. This was because of a secret alliance between two other powerful Romans, Pompey and Crassus. Think of it like this. Each person had a different friend group, and when these three guys agreed on something, they could each get their own friend group to agree with them. And so when it came time to see who liked an idea, it wouldn't just be Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus who liked the idea, but their three powerful friend groups who would support the idea as well. Caesar was only able to gain power this way because of how corrupt Roman politics had become. This is how Caesar came to power. He eventually became a consul, which was a leader of Rome. Think of it like the Roman version of the President of the United States. While he was consul, he did a lot of good work, although how he did it made him a lot of enemies in the Roman Senate. After he was consul, he became a governor of a province, which is like a state in the modern day. This province was along the border of Gaul. Gaul is where modern day France is now. The Gauls were a different nation than Rome. During his time as governor, Julius Caesar invaded Gaul and made it a part of Rome. There were many in Rome who did not appreciate Caesar's conquest. They thought he did all of it for his own benefit rather than the benefit of Rome. This created a divide in Rome between Caesar and his old partner Pompey with Romans supporting each side. This caused Caesar to march on Rome and begin a civil war. Caesar would eventually defeat Pompey and his armies and win the civil war. Despite many senators fighting against him and supporting Pompey, Caesar would pardon many of them. Pardon means to forgive the crimes of another. Caesar was famous for pardoning those who fought against him, and this would ultimately be his downfall. The Senate of Rome was made up of many senators who had fought against Caesar in the civil war and had been pardoned by him. A plot was formed by many of these senators to kill Caesar. While the group planned and acted as one, nearly every senator had their own motivations. Some really did believe Caesar was too powerful. Some held grudges for Caesar hurting their political careers. Some just thought this was a good opportunity to gain power for themselves. So on the Ides of March, March 15th in the year 44 BC, during a meeting of the Senate, the senators betrayed and murdered Julius Caesar a man who had forgiven and spared many of their lives. Thus ends the life of one of the most influential humans to have ever lived. His life was very complex, and Caesar's motivations and actions are still disputed over 2,000 years later. Just as some saw him as a monster, and some saw him as a savior during the time he lived, his legacy is still debated to this day. So let's go over what you should take away from Caesar's life. Number one, Caesar's life and death changed Rome forever. After his death, the Roman Republic would change into the Roman Empire, changing the course of human history. Number two, Caesar was a product of his environment. He was who he was and acted the way he did because of the time he lived through in Rome and how corrupt it had become. And number three, Caesar was a controversial figure 2,000 years ago, and he is still one today. And I think in 2,000 more years, he will still be a controversial figure. I hope you liked this shorter style of video, and I hope to make more like this in the future. What Roman should I cover next? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see it right when it comes out, be sure to subscribe. So, until next time, wale, young legionaries.